story. It's something I've just mentioned, and I'm, yeah. I, I'm quite keen on it because you are big time really supporting the women businesses, and you have given an example that you are. Uh, you know, securing some of your billboards mm -hmm. to just help mm -hmm. them out. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, how is that going and what informed that for yes. you? Yes. Yeah. So remember I said that um, we feel we have an obligation to contribute a much more fair and more socially inclusive yeah. uh, world that we operate in. Mm -hmm. It is a fact that uh, the female gender mm -hmm. have been deprived of opportunity in the past. Okay. We are trying to correct that through our mm -hmm. uh, activities. Yeah. So we are going out deliberately through the mm -hmm. Women of More initiative yeah. to support that. Mm -hmm. But to bring it even closer to home, yeah. through our supply chain, mm -hmm. we set in 2021, we set uh, on a mission. Mm -hmm. and we are saying we want to open up our supply opportunities yeah. to women and mm -hmm. people who are differently abled. Yeah. Uh, so okay. I'm glad to say that the uh, target that we had, for example, for this year mm -hmm. was uh, to deliver 4% yeah. of our supply yeah. opportunities. Okay. To We've achieved 4.5%. Wow. So this year we've spent 444 million Kenya shillings, mm -hmm. opportunities that we've created for businesses mm -hmm. that are for women and differently abled individuals. I must say, we still have some way to go. There's still some way to go. <laughs> yeah, by 2025, we've set our target uh, target of 7%. Yeah. We know that we can't do it alone. Eh? Mm -hmm. So we also, to be able to unlock those opportunities, there is a uh, capability that yeah. has to go on, that mm -hmm. has to be uh, built yeah. to enable local mm -hmm. uh, opportunities for those people that we target, for yeah. them to be able to access those opportunities. Eh? Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes they're limited by knowledge, financial capability, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, access to credit and all. Yeah. So uh, part of the job we are doing then mm -hmm. is to open up those opportunities for them. We provide training okay. and also we give them access to uh, financial opportunities. Wow. Yes. As we come to the tail end of this conversation, I'm curious to know about your you know, distribution model because yes. from the products you've spoken about, yes, yes, yes. They, 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 when I go to my ocha, yes, that's how we call it, yes. my rural home, home yes. I will still find the Vaseline there yes. and all that. Yes, and then vis a vis the fact that nowadays things are also moving online, I don't know how you're positioning yourself as well, yes, to the online distribution model, yeah, uh, because I know you've cracked the other one very well, <laughs> yes, yeah. So, essentially, um, the nature of our market is yeah. such that we are still, uh, a developing market. Mm -hmm. So right now, 99% of our uh, business yeah. uh, goes through the traditional channels. Yeah. Uh, 1% goes through the uh, uh, digital channels. Yeah. Wow. But it's growing very fast. It's growing. Yeah. Yeah. But first of all, we sell 70% uh, of our business goes through our traditional Duka wholesale. 70% mm -hmm. goes through that. Mm -hmm. And we have a set of over 60,000 retailers mm -hmm. that our distributors reach directly. Wow. Yeah, so we have a set of 34 distributors mm -hmm. who then go and serve those 60,000 plus retailers Markets, yes. directly mm -hmm. once every week. Yeah. And then 30% of our business goes through what we're calling modern trade. Yeah. yeah so it's your normal supermarkets. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Carrefour's of this world, the Naivas, the Quick Marts. Absolutely. So 30% goes yeah. through that. Mm -hmm. But as you mentioned, the digital uh, revolution is on with us. Yeah. And what we are seeing, while it's still relatively small, yeah. it's one of the fastest growing, fastest growing. Uh, channels. Mm -hmm. So in that respect, we are investing in terms of partnerships with uh, uh, either the pure players like uh, Jumia. Okay. We have the omni-channel opportunities that are coming up with mm -hmm. some other partners, yeah. uh, for example, Naivars mm -hmm. uh, and the Quick Marts yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and the Cafos of this world. Okay. So it's something that we are looking to drive even a lot faster. Yeah. But in addition to that, mm -hmm. we also have opportunities where shoppers can actually buy direct from us. Oh. So we have a shop. Okay. Hopefully we'll get an opportunity I to visit. Me there. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Where shoppers can actually buy direct from us. Once yeah. they register, they just uh, order digitally, yeah. pay for it through uh, uh, M-Pesa or uh, Airtel Money, uh -huh. and the delivery is done as well. Wow, yes. wow. This is, this is so nice to hear. Yes. You know, customers will be curious to know, 108 years and seeing you evolve all this much. Yes. What is in the next few? What is in your crystal ball when you look at it? Yes. Is there something for them to expect? New products, anything? <laughs> yes. So there's always something new coming up. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I can 
without giving away the, <laughs> the yes. secret, yes. we have a rich innovation pipeline. Ah. Yeah, so we, we normally have new products coming on every year. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited within the nutrition space. I know we are going to see some exciting stuff coming yeah. al along this year. Mm -hmm. But from a Kenya perspective, we made such a huge investment mm -hmm. for all these years in this factory. Yeah. We are here for the long haul. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we are looking to expand our capacity to supply even the greater part of the region. We are seeing wow. significant business growth coming through from Tanzania, yeah. from Rwanda. Opportunities that are opening up in DRC. Kenya in itself, as we come out of the COVID period, mm -hmm. we are seeing business turning around as well. Yeah. Yeah. So we are uh, committed to driving the business here yeah. and we are confident that even the factory that we have yeah. uh, we are going to be increasing capacity just to give you an example uh -huh. we are putting an additional new line uh -huh. yeah to expand the capacity within our nutrition uh, our business because wow. right now we can't we can't meet the demand for example for mm -hmm. uh, the Royco products you know <laughs> so we are here for the long run <laughs> Royco, yes. Oh, I can't live without asking you this. You know, yes. you know, maybe some of your consumers mm. would love to own a part of you. So my, my question to you is, I know I need to pay <laughs> you for this. Would yes. you, is, is it in the pipeline since we're here on the long haul, yeah. to one day list and probably, you know, help well, them own a few things? The <laughs> listing opportunities are there for Unilever Global. Yes. Yeah, which is leader, <laughs> listed in the, in the London Stock Exchange. Yes. So that opportunity is always available. Even I, now. I extend an invitation to the Kenyan listing as well to yeah. you. <laughs> But thank you so much for the conversation. Thank you. Absolutely. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. There you have it, Lako Chi and the MD Kenya and Rwanda speaking as it is about the strides they're making with the over 108-year-old company, Unilever. And you've had the productions, some of the consumptions that you have in uh, courtesy of them. Right now, I head to the shop to, be sh to see some of these things and hopefully carry some. <laughs> see you around. Next is the market as well. This is a new warehouse. This blue one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's a new warehouse that yes. we're just putting up. Uh-huh. Yeah, to be able to accommodate the business that's uh, that's growing. Eh? Oh. Yeah. So this is the shop? Yes. Okay, great. So this is where we have the staff shop. Uh-huh. And uh, so staff are able to come and buy from yes. here as well. Yeah. So this is the common soap that I see. Yeah, here. so this is Absolutely. Sunlight. This yeah. is sun detergent. Sun would this be the most famous brand for you now? It's actually the biggest uh brand in Kenya. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it even uh, overtook your traditional yeah. Omo. <laughs> yes, it did. Eh? Yeah. yeah. So this is actually number one okay. uh, in the market. Yeah. Uh, and followed by then uh, Omo. Okay. So we have the laundry space. And here we also have uh, bleach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is now the bleach, the Omo yeah, bleach. The Omo bleach. Okay. Yeah. So we have the multi purpose and uh -huh. we, uh, we have the original uh -huh. one as well. Okay. And then here we have the auto. Oh, yeah, so for... Uh, you call it auto? Yes. Okay. So this is for using the machines. Eh? Oh, okay. Yes. I get it. Yeah, get it. for mm. using the machine. So right. unlike, for example, this one. This, this is, is now the hand wash. Hand wash. Yeah. This is for the machine now. Yes. Okay. So okay. we discourage people from using this washing because they can be oh, a little yeah, harsh on yeah. the hands. So this is... Yeah. Uh, this is for the hands now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm curious um, to see products probably I never knew about. Uh, yes. what, what do we have here? Yes, so here we have dishwash. Oh, this is the dishwash, dishwash liquid. No. Okay. Yeah, we have various variants of it. This mm -hmm. is uh, uh, the original one. Okay. Yeah, these are new. And, and then we also have paste. Well. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah, and the, the bar same. soaps as well, I can see them. Yes, yes, well yes, down yes. There, they are right? very, very popular. So if I pick a few things here, I'll just go and uh, they will pass them there. And well, then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, have, we'll, <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to pass you on. Eh? But remember, I was talking about the product that's 100% oh, recycled. Yeah. recycled so this plastic. Is oh, so yeah. this, once you're done, once it's disposed, it will... No, so what happens uh -huh. is that... Um, oh, actually, we recycled. Mr. Green. Yes. Uh -huh. So what we do is that working with uh, those collectors, mm -hmm. They, we've set up a system where we pay them fair wage, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so that they get good income. Yeah. And then they take that plastic, mm -hmm. they clean it up, oh. process it, and then, and then they produce pellets. Mm. And those pellets then go into producing a new... Ah, great. New so containers. all this is recycled? Yes. Yeah. This is home care now. I can see yes. <laughs> yes. the shower gels Yes. and all. So, yeah. so here mm. we have our 
uh, the, fam- famous the famous Vaseline. Petroleum, <laughs> petroleum jelly. Yeah? <laughs> One of the fastest growing, yeah. uh, even now. Uh-huh. So we have uh, various variants, but really popular wow. in the Kenyan context. Wow. We have the lotions as yeah. well here. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. The Vaseline, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I have this. Yes. I have this. This is, this one is for men, right? That, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's for men. Wow. I assume uh, you might not have known that Simple also is one of our products. Oh, Simple. Yeah. I, I yeah. didn't know that. So, yes. so this is... Uh, it's a facial uh, facial wash. It's used for facial wash uh, routine. Yeah. yeah. It's... Uh, the selling point here is mm-hmm. that it doesn't have any frills. It's all natural. Okay. Doesn't even have scent. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's one of our most popular. Uh-huh. But this is important. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See. This is our oral space. Oh. Yes. We yeah. The toothpaste you know, close, close up. up. Yeah. Close up. Close up. Yeah. This one is known very and much. And Pepsodent. Pepsodent. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So Pepsodent, we have uh, the charcoal. Mm. And then we have the whitening as well. These are the new variants that have come in. I've seen this, and sometimes I was wondering how a black thing should make your teeth white, but now I get it. <laughs> you know how traditionally uh, our folks would use ch- a charcoal? They would. Yes. So yeah. that's the insight. Wow. That's the insight behind it. <laughs> but it works, huh? It works. And then on this end, we have the Dior's. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Very popular. Very popular. Very popular. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and Dove mm. as well. Yeah. Are there some that are specified for men or this is unisex? No, Dove is generally uh-huh. uh, for men. Okay. Yeah. Uh, da, uh, sorry, uh, Axe is for men. Axe is for men. It's for men. Dove, there are variants, the yeah. men variants, yeah. and then there are those that are yeah. more for the, okay. for, uh, for, for the women. Yeah. And then you also have red zone as well. Huh? Mm. Wow, so I yes. think we are so much grateful for this conversation and uh, thank you so much for hosting us as well. Absolutely. Yeah, and just to our viewers, thank you so much for your time. That has been our time here at Unilever, speaking to Luck, the MD, Kenya and Rwanda. He also said he manages as well and looks after Tanzania. We are grateful for your time. So go home, please uh, you know, enjoy some of these products and you never know, if you speak well, he might give you a discount. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much for your time. You're welcome. All right. Right. Yeah.